Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. It's gonna be a chatty q and I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I'm not gonna do a ton of edits to it and I hope you enjoy it. I love Q&As because I can just sit and rant basically and you guys are entertained by that. Works for you, works for me and I wanna start incorporating these maybe as bonus videos every month outside of vlogs and other sit down videos. So I'm gonna get right into this. I will answer all the questions you guys ask me on my Instagram at hey Miss Katie if you wanna go follow there and be included in other Q&As or question stickers to my Instagram stories, all that good stuff. You can check it out there. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and go up i haven't seen any of these questions but you guys asked me a bunch of them have you started thinking about colleges you're going to apply to yes i have i just finished my spreadsheet of colleges that i'm interested in which is insane to me i put like the distance from the airport the student population whether or not you need to take the act i just made basically this big spreadsheet my mom helped me because she used to work in education she still does but specifically she used to work in a counseling department so she thankfully has a lot of experience with that she's been helping me which is really nice because i honestly have no idea i've done summary research but beyond that the college admissions process is just ridiculous so i'm really grateful to have her and i will hopefully be incorporating that into some of my videos that way if you guys are my age or younger or whatever you can see a little bit of that because if i didn't have my mom to help me i would want to have an example or somebody i could look to because like i said it's ridiculous i have and a couple people also asked me if i was going to continue doing youtube in college Hopefully, yes, I love doing YouTube and I don't see myself stopping until I think YouTube dies out. Obviously, I do want to get a job outside of YouTube when I graduate college. My dream job would be to do social media marketing for a company part-time and do YouTube part-time. That way I could kind of have the best of both worlds, but obviously things are not gonna go my way 24 7 so who knows i could change my major there's just so many things that could happen so i want to keep an open mind but as of now yes i plan to continue it do you plan on going to the same college as ally i do not i love ally and i know i'm gonna miss her so much it like makes me want to cry just thinking about it because i think the longest we've ever been apart is like two weeks but i want to go to a different college because i think it would be good for us to be a little more separate and independent what is your favorite thing about high school any advice on romanticizing it i love you love you too my best or my favorite thing about high school is the fact that you get to be under most people get to be living in your parents' house under a roof with your family and you still have the freedoms, at least once you get your license. I'm re-recording this clip because I didn't say it the way I wanted to when I was originally filming, but I was trying to say you have the freedoms to manage your own schedule, at least when you get your license, but you still have your parents and a home base to come to. And I know I'm going to miss that so much when I go to college. Obviously, it will be good for me to be independent. I'm back because I forgot more stuff to say, but also football games and like high school sports. School spirit is the best thing ever. Favorite podcast. This is a good question and I love Love listening to podcasts because i get sick of songs really easily so i'm always putting music on literally 24 7 because it helps me focus because i feel like both parts of my brain are occupied because i have adhd i love what we said podcast as for me in my house i recently started listening to crime junkie and i'm so into that it's true crime some stuff i'm like i need to turn this off because it's terrifying but most of it is super interesting and i feel like it's preparing me more for anything bad or anything like criminal would ever happen to me i would know what to do or i would know legally what my rights are basically they talk about all these cases a lot of them are unsolved but some of them are solved i like the solved ones because you have closure on the story especially the ones where people like get home safely or are found i don't know things like that would you want to study abroad yes 1000 percent. i want to study abroad if i have the opportunity to and if i had the opportunity to choose i would want to study abroad in australia or somewhere where spanish is spoken so the language barrier isn't too crazy because i know a little bit of spanish from taking classes but beyond that if there was a really thick language barrier i think i would have a really hard time how do you say motivated like you did vlogmas and managed school with youtube okay i did not do every single day of vlogmas i took like two days off and i'm still mad at myself for it because i wish i would have done it but at the same time i'm like i am not perfect i'm not gonna be able to do everything and i did my best with it but I think because it was a challenge, because there was a goal I had to reach, that's what kept me motivated. And I don't really know. I think it's just because I did it last year. I felt the need to outdo myself almost. And I was excited about it because I love Christmas and I love watching other people do Vlogmas. So I wanted to give that to you guys. Next question. Will you join a sorority? Yes, I will definitely rush if the college I go to has Greek life. And that is one of the things that is important to me. I put on the little list or spreadsheet of things that is a pro in colleges. So yes, hopefully. What do you want to major? in okay i'm stuck between three right now i think i know what i want to go towards but like i said i'm kind of stuck between the three and those are communications marketing and psychology and communications and marketing are kind of in the similar business ballpark and psychology is completely different but psychology fascinates the heck out of me it's just the math that i know that comes with marketing that stresses me out because i'm not good at math i'm almost 17 and i haven't had my first kiss i feel ashamed when people ask what should i do 
do not feel ashamed, please. I had my first kiss last year when I was 16, but it is not something to be ashamed about. You always want it to be special and there's no need to rush anything, especially when you know it will happen eventually. Like obviously you want it to happen so you can get it over with, but honestly make fun of yourself, like make a joke about it. That's how I deal with those kinds of things. And nobody should be making you feel ashamed for it. If they are, then that's bad on their part. And it's probably because they're insecure about their own situation when it comes to that. Do you have a crush on someone? No, I am trying to think about the last year. I had two uh, situations going on last year. You guys know about one of them if you are a very dedicated subscriber, but those are over with so not as of now what is it like doing youtube in high school do people make fun of you there have been times where people make fun of me or like poke fun at me but it was never really things that got to me in middle school someone said something kind of rude to me and i was like was that necessary i don't think so but for the most part everyone is so nice about it and everyone finds it really cool especially my teachers if they hear about it my teacher was literally playing one of my videos in class the other week during our break because it was English class and we had to do this writing territories thing and I put a bunch of things on there that made me think about other things and one of them was like my faith, I talked about some friends I have, traveling, whatever else and one of them I put on there was YouTube and how it makes me be creative and is my job and my teacher was like, what do you mean? Like you have a YouTube channel? She was like a bunch of exclamation points after it. If I can find it, I'll insert it right here. And she asked me about it in class. So for the most part, it's a lot of fun and I'm super blessed that I have friends and family and teachers that support me. What do you do if a boy friend zones you, but he keeps flirting with you? I need to open the window. Wait, hold on. I just realized it was closed and it's gonna fix the lighting. But that's a really good question. I don't know, but usually there's, I don't know. Sometimes there's a reason, sometimes there's not. But at our age, like, I'm not even gonna say just guys, like, everybody. We all don't know what we're doing. I mean, some people have more experience than others, whatever, whatever. There's a bunch of um, layers to it, but the best thing you could do is probably have a conversation with the guy so you have a better understanding. What are absolute musts when it comes to guys? To me, it's like someone who shares the same faith as me because dating is for the prospect of marriage, and I, I don't want to marry someone who doesn't share the same faith as me. It doesn't make sense for me to date them, you know? I'm gonna change this because my knees are giving out. This is what happens every time I film. Ranting on homework. I know you could for hours and write a paper on it. This is very true. And I've talked about the paper that I wrote in middle school about it for. I think other than in a math class or English class from a very subtle perspective, when it comes to those subjects, homework is pointless because most of it is busy work. And there's so many studies done that show that homework is not beneficial. For example, in Finland, there's no homework. It just doesn't really exist there and their test scores are the highest in the world. So it just doesn't make sense scientifically. And students should be able to have a balance where they go home. Most people, unless you work a nine to five or work multiple jobs, don't take their work home with them. And because of these things, everyone these days takes their work home with them, but we shouldn't be taking our work home with us in the perfect world. So why would we make students do that? Like I said, I think it's okay if it's very subtle, but when it gets to the point where it's like busy work and these just crazy assignments destroying students mental health it doesn't make sense and i'm sure there's other studies that say the opposite but that's just what i believe a lot of people ask about my workout routine and getting comfortable in the gym how to feel motivated to work out all that kind of stuff and i think that i had a really bad attitude towards working out and i talked about this a little bit in my new year's day vlog i'll link double if you want to go watch that but basically last year when quarantine started i think i had a toxic approach to it because i just like wanted to do it so i could look a certain way and now it's not as much about that obviously i i think everyone works out a little bit so that they can look good why would you not if that's something that comes with it but for the most part now i work out because it's like a good mental release for me it helps me get a lot of energy out because of my adhd and it just makes me feel so much better about myself it makes me feel stronger and i know that it'll help me live a good healthy life in the long run it prevents disease there's just so many things so i think it's about doing it for the right reasons when it comes to motivation and it's more so discipline than it is motivation one thing that helps so much is having like a workout partner or someone who you work out with often. For me, that's my friend Kenna. We've been going all the time with my gym pass. I have the certain membership where I can bring someone with me. So I just bring her with me and we go to the gym after school multiple times a week. And it helps so much because if I have the option to sit in my bed or get out of bed and go to the gym, I'm gonna sit in my bed. But if I have to meet someone somewhere and it's a prior commitment you already made, you can't like get out of that. And it's so much more motivating. And it's definitely hard because a lot of people at my school play sports and I don't I mean I play a sport technically I do cheer but I don't consider that as much of a sport because I feel like it's a lot less physical activity than what the other sports are doing it's more so like a school spirit thing in my opinion so it's hard because everyone has practice schedules to work around but for the most part if you can find some 
somebody at least just once a week, it is 10 million times more motivating. Also workout routine, some people ask for my workout split. Right now I don't have a set one. I just try to go to the gym at least three times a week. And one day I will do upper body, whether it's like shoulders, triceps, another day back and biceps, and then another day like legs and glutes. If I go more than that, I will do like a more cardio centered day. There's classes at my gym, weights classes. So I don't have a split. Sp I don't, wow. I don't have a set workout split right now, but I want to get one that's consistent. I just try to do a different part of the body at least three times a week. And depending on how I feel like right now, my legs are insanely sore. So I'm not going to do legs if I go to the gym tomorrow because I'm not going today. I, it's just not happening. But I just try to listen to my body and do what I think is best. How is your faith and how to keep a stable relationship with God? This is a really good question. This is definitely something I need to work on because um, if you guys watch my vlogs, you know that my life is pretty busy. I have a lot going on. When I don't have something to do, I will just sit down and just go on my phone and scroll. And that is not what I want to fill my free time with. Sometimes it's like totally fine because that's a way that I can just wind down and relax. It's almost like my mom watches a TV show every night before bed with the dog. And that's her way of unwinding, going on TikTok or like scrolling before bed where it's just something that I can watch and be stimulated by. And I don't have to put any effort into it necessarily. Could be my way of winding down, but it could be so much more beneficial for me and my faith to read the Bible and get in the word. And I think my faith is like pretty decently strong right now, but I can feel myself like falling off the train when it comes to reading my bible and going to youth group because my family goes to church on saturday nights and sometimes i have plans on saturday nights or there's just like not an ideal time where i can make it just things like that so i need to work on prioritizing that because i right now i'm putting things above that which is not what i should be doing and i want to do a better job and i need to do a better job because i'm a much better person when i do prioritize that also grace got me this book for christmas it's called all that is made it's from alabaster and it says the guy Guide to faith and the creative life and i have been reading this before bed because i can just read like one little page at a time and it is very interesting to me i'm on the fifth section right now it's called the creatives role in god's invisible kingdom and it's a beautiful book and like i said i could just like read that before bed or finish this section and i'm on to the next one it's like two pages and it's pretty pictures and it talks about like gratitude the theology of creation this one says when you get there remember what you were carried by or who you were carried by so i'm excited to finish this because it's it's short, it's sweet, but I feel like it's good and it will leave me with good reminders. Thoughts on dating a guy with a bad history but calls themselves a Christian? This is a really good question and I think you have to forgive someone. And actions definitely speak louder than words. If someone says there is something but acts a different way, you have to like go off their actions, even though it's hard, but the past is the past. And if someone opens up to you about their past or explains what's going on, you can't hold that against them because everybody has things that they did in the past that they regret whether it's big or small if we put judgment on someone else for the things that they have done in the past they regret or that they learned from and they're better now because of it it doesn't help the situation it just makes someone feel worse honestly it's not really our place and i'm not saying you're judging that person for it i'm just like going really broad but i would say if that person's actions speak in a positive way go for it but it is important to keep that in mind because history unfortunately can repeat itself a lot i just had to delete videos off of my camera because i still have videos from like December that are on there and so the storage uh, the SD card keeps filling up is Allie always sick or that's her actual voice okay good question Allie got hit in like the neck because someone fell on her in a stunt and ever since then her voice has been really raspy so I think something happened to her vocal cords but she's not always sick don't worry I have to go in like two minutes and so I'm just trying to scroll through and figure out the best other questions I want to answer because I feel bad not answering everybody's but I think a lot of them are repeats so I really struggle with waking up early any tips no I struggle with it too. It never gets easier. <laughs> How is Margo? Margo is my pride and joy. I love that. If you don't know who Margo is, it's my car. Margo the Mazda. I love that car. Thankfully, thanks to you guys, I bought that car with my own money, which is a huge blessing. It's one of my biggest accomplishments, but Margo is doing very well. She just got cleaned, so she's looking nice and stunning as ever. Can update my car is literally not starting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Once he turns on his card, then you'll turn it. How do you feel about abortion? This is a heavy question because it's very controversial, but I am pro-life. Some people ask about toxic friends. I talked about that in my Q&A last month, so I'll link that down below if you want to hear about that. How did you survive your math class? It seems rough like mine. It's very rough. 
um if you can get a tutor and watch youtube videos try to teach it to yourself if your teacher is not the best or if you have a hard time focusing in class because i have a very hard time focusing in math class so a lot of times i just look up other shorter youtube videos that explain it in simpler ways that is all and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i have to go because i'm going to be late to meet somebody but if you like the idea of me doing monthly q a's let me know in the comments section give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and i think that's all go follow me on tiktok instagram pinterest everywhere and and have the best day in the world. I think I hit everything. I will see you guys for videos soon in a couple days. Bye guys.